What happened to Rick Harrison? For a considerable number of years now, Pawn Star has been one of the History Channel's biggest successes. Rick and Corey Harrison, Richard, the old man Harrison, and Austin Chum Lee Russell have developed into famous stars because of the show. Their jobs identifying and selling countless artifacts and unique items have made them legends in their field, and few, if any, could ever hope to compete. However, it's been a while since viewers saw Richard Harrison on the show. Where has he been? Today, we try to find out what happened to Rick Harrison, the famous old man on Pawn Stars. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. You should also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any more exciting videos from us. It's not difficult to notice that something's been missing in the recent seasons of Pawn Stars. The patriarch of the Las Vegas tourist destination, Richard Benjamin Harrison, is no longer around. It's easy to see why his absence is very evident, because the series wouldn't exist without Richard Benjamin Harrison. How did Pawn Stars start? According to his son, Rick's 2011 book, License to Pawn, Harrison, known as Old Man on the Show, opened the gold and silver coin shop in Las Vegas in 1989, with only $5,000 to his name. The retired Navy officer had previously lost a million dollar fortune, and the shop was his best chance at redemption. Well, he made the right choice. Pawn Stars, which followed the staff's daily lives at the shop, became the History Channel's highest rating program. In fact, the old man himself was a particular fan favorite. Rick Harrison worked with his son and grandson on Pawn Stars. Harrison's character made him quite popular. He was equal parts gruff, no-nonsense, and snarky, but that was just part of the reason why the show became a household name. One particular thing that made the Pawn Stars a success is the fact that the gold and silver pawn shop is a family affair. The old man had his son Rick, the spotter Harrison, and eldest grandson Corey, Big Hoss Harrison, to keep him company at the shop. Corey's childhood friend, Austin Chum Lee Russell, is also a popular face on the series. The close relationship between cast members set the stage for humor and interpersonal conflicts. Fans of the show love to witness their behind-the-scenes drama as much as they enjoy watching the bargains being made on the shop floor. From only $5,000, Rick Harrison became the owner of the lucrative family business, and he has the old man's cynical wit to thank for it. Rick said in a 2020 interview, He had all those southern sayings, like one of the greatest ones when I was trying to get my pilot's license. My dad just basically told me, Well son, find out what you're good at in this world, and don't do that. The old man did not hesitate to go a little too far with his tough guy approach. Many viewers have thought that Richard Harrison was playing a character all the time on the show, but it turns out to be some of his attitudes were just the way he is. He wouldn't accept just anything from anyone. When I was 16, I tried to act all tough and told him, F you to him, the younger Harrison told Fox News in January 2020. He punched me in the face. I'm laying on the ground. He looks at me and says, Old enough to talk to me like a man? Old enough to get your ass beat like one. I just got up, walked away, and never said another word about it. He really changed my perspective on life and how words have meaning. However, the old man's aggression wasn't the only noteworthy thing about him. He also made sacrifices and served as a mentor to set his family up for success. Most people, when they turn 18, they go off to school, get a job and move out. I worked with the old man from the time I was a kid, Harrison added. He stayed in the Navy for years because of me. Otherwise, it would have been really difficult with all my medical expenses. But despite my epilepsy, he never treated me differently. The old man hasn't been on the show for a long time now. What happened to the old man on Pawn Stars? He died at 77 years old. Confirmed through his son and co-star Rick Harrison that on June 25th, 2018, the old man passed away at 77 years old. Following his father's death, Rick wrote on Instagram, Richard Benjamin, the old man Harrison, passed away this morning surrounded by those he loved. He will be tremendously missed by our family, the team at Gold and Silver Pond, and his many fans all over the world. He was my hero, and I was fortunate to get a very cool old man as my dad.
On his personal life and eventual work for Pawn Stars, the younger Harrison commemorated the full life that Richard enjoyed on Earth. He said, He lived a very full life and through the history television show Pawn Stars, touched the lives of people all over, teaching them the value of loving your family, hard work, and humor. We appreciate everyone's thoughts and prayers and ask that we are provided some privacy at this time. Richard's grandson also had something to say about his grandpa. Pops was such a great grandfather and beloved character by everyone. I was lucky to be born a Harrison and learn so much about life from him. I miss him and will carry him with me forever. We're grateful for the outpouring of love everyone is sending our way and hope everyone has a fond memory of him to share with a smile. What was Richard's cause of death? The old man battled Parkinson's disease for some years. For quite some time, Richard found himself in a difficult battle with Parkinson's disease. At some point during the show's 2018 run, the long-standing Pawn Star star stopped appearing on the show, and his son later announced that he had succumbed to his illness shortly thereafter. The old man cuts his son out of his will? According to reports, the patriarch made a final hard bargain in his will. The old man cut out one of his three kids, Christopher, out of his will. In his testament, Rick Harris wrote, I would like to express my love and affection for Chris Harrison. However, for the purpose of this will, I have intentionally and with full knowledge failed to provide for him and his issue. In the original will, the old man named his wife Joanne Rue and three children as beneficiaries. But in 2017, he updated the will to remove Christopher, his youngest son, as a beneficiary of the estate. It's not clear why Christopher was cut out, and the documents do not reveal how much Harrison's estate was worth. What's next for the show? Following his death, the subsequent seasons of the show have still maintained exactly what the old man would have wanted. Even though he can't physically be present, he will be deeply missed by all. Through about 10 years run on the show, Richard Harrison endeared himself to countless fans with his dry wit, humor, and seemingly endless knowledge of the various antiques that came into his showroom. Well, this is where we draw the curtain on today's video. What would you miss most about the old man? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.